It's important to us here at WJZ that we connect with your community and highlighting everyday heroes who are doing the work to make our city a better place. So we ask you to share your community MVPs with us. This week, Tori Smith takes us to Cherry Hill to meet the Restoring Inner City Harbor HOPE program. Rather, The program's mission to love, inspire, and empower youth and families throughout Baltimore. We're inside of a working operation with the great juice bar right here behind us. That recently opened. Talk to me about it. So we we here in a, a, a food desert, right? Um, and a lot of us suffer um, in, in low income public housing in these communities. A lot of us suffer with a lot of health issues such as hypertension, diabetes, anxiety, uh, just heart disease, a lot of different things, right? Including myself. So. Um, doing my, my own health journey, my health scare with diabetes and hypertension, um, I began to juice and change my diet with plant-based, lost some weight, still have a lot more to lose, right? But um, my numbers corrected themselves. So um, I wanted to educate my community on that as well. You know, so it's not just about a dollar. Um, we want this to be an educational hub for the South Baltimore um, area. What has the response been like from the young men and women that have the opportunity to learn what it's like to operate a business and also eat healthy, which we know is a problem in the city as a whole. Yeah. They, they're excited of what they're learning. They're excited. A lot of them, this is their first job, so they're excited to be able to earn a few, a few dollars uh, on their own, right? Um, so it gives them a sense of pride. Um, and also we teach them uh, banking and credit and a lot of different things. We partner with Chase Bank, which is a few doors down. So they're learning a lot. Um, this is not just like a regular juice bar. So we teach them, you know, you don't come running in the door at 359. You know, so um, just teaching them a lot of different skills um, along with them being able to earn some money. All right, so Michael, talk to me about the RICH program. We teach kids entrepreneurship, financial literacy, conflict resolution, etiquette. Um, we just give them a lot of different tools and resources that they need to navigate through life. Uh, what inspired you to start the RICH program? My mindset changed, my behavior changed, and then my life changed. And once my life changed, I decided to dedicate my life to the youth and doing this work to help someone else that went through what I went through. The children are beginning to bring other children, which means they really, they really enjoy what they're learning and what we're doing here at the Rich Program. So it's all word of mouth um, that we are, we are grown. We want to empower, inspire, and love the youth throughout the city of Baltimore, beginning with my home childhood. So we know there are more community MVPs out there, and we want you to let us know who they are so we can highlight all of the great work that they are working hard to do. We, had, want you, we invite you to head over to WJZ.com slash nominate MVP to submit your nomination.